Welcome to Life Club. This is George G. And the time is right. Welcome to today's guest, strong and powerful, Shay Gerhardt. Shay, are you ready to do this? I'm ready as I can be, I guess. <laughs> well, well, let's go. Shay is the founder and CEO of Butterflies Technology. They are a company making an earbud that is so comfortable that you can binge content all day long. She's a patented investor, an entrepreneur. Shay, I'm excited to have you on. Tell us a little bit about your personal life, some more about your work why you do what you do. Well, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Um, so we're in Colorado. We have, uh, I have three boys, three little boys. Um, and I actually grew up in Colorado. I didn't, I grew up in Boulder, Colorado. I lived in, I've lived in, you know, both coasts um, and worked on both coasts. And we, when we decided to start Butterflies, we decided to come back here or I did um but it's an awesome place the weather's here is the best I think weather around and so we love it and we love being taking advantage of everything Colorado has to offer skiing hiking fishing being outdoors not a hunter though <laughs> <laughs> and tell us a little bit more about butterflies and and why it is that you've devoted so much time and attention and resources to uh to to the endeavor so we so i prior to this i was in the music and mobile and gaming space mostly on the new innovative entrepreneurial side but also worked for huge companies um but when when new content in the in the um, space like podcasts and audiobooks started coming out the use case for for earbuds started changing dramatically People started using them. I mean, the the earbud as it is was designed, the form factor was designed 14, 15 years ago with the iPod, meant for 20 minutes of music listening. When we started noticing a huge shift in user habits, but the technology hadn't changed besides the fact that they'd gone wireless, um, you know, this looked like an interesting business opportunity. <laughs> Anecdotally and on a personal note, I was, like I said, I, you know, I had three little kids. We live in the Front Range. It's called the Front Range, so like Denver area. When my husband, it was like a powder day in the mountains and my husband was like, hey, why don't you go skiing by yourself tomorrow, which is just awesome, especially when you have three little guys, you get a whole day <laughs> off. You know, I love them. Um, and so that night I was nervous that I was going to miss that traffic window and not get up early enough. So I ended up falling asleep with the wired A Apple AirPods. Um, and that, which is the same design as today, but woke up with crazy aching pain in my ears. Mm -hmm. And I, um, so that morning, all earbuds in the market are made with what's called a plastic clamshell design. It's a hard, inflexible design. Some of them come with that little rubber foam ear tip on the end, but it does nothing to help with fit or comfort. So that morning I split open that seam on that plastic clamshell design, put them in my kids' swimmer's wax and wore them underneath my um, ski helmet all day. And it was super comfortable. Hmm. And the sound envi environment was so much cleaner because of the near perfect seal in my ear. So when we started doing a deep dive into this space, we understood that the human ear is constantly moving when you talk and chew and exercise. And that constant movement against that hard plastic material of today's earbuds, it causes that ear fatigue, soreness, pain, friction. It also does, has, because it's plastic, the plastic, the vibrations of sound that come through that plastic design create what's called sound fatigue in your cartilage. So that causes it to ache as well. Um, and then the last reason is because your ear is constantly moving, it will push out that hard material. So that's why they fall out all the time, which is a really good business model for the other earbud companies because <laughs> really, on average, people are replacing their earbuds every six months, which seems crazy because they're super expensive, but they fall out. You send them through the washing machine, your dog eats them, you leave them on the airplane that kind of stuff. So um, <clears throat> we created an earbud that continually flexes with your ear as it moves. And it's super comfortable. And the longer you wear it, the more comfortable it becomes. It took us almost four years to invent, develop, 
patent this, um, but we did it and we created an earbud that people are loving. So that's phase, that's our first, you know, entry point into the market is to solve. And this comfort fit issue is the number one complaint in the earbud industry. Um, and so that is, we're going after that in a big way. Nice. Have you always been somebody who's comfortable taking something apart? Yeah. Well, a lot of times I make my husband do it, which he's like, do I, you know, I have to get involved in this again. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, like, um, I, yeah, I've invented a few things, but this one has the best market opportunity and it's something I'm, I'm completely interested in and, and passionate about in that. I think it's a conduit to all you know, learning from other people's voices like yourself, like that is that, you know, that moment where you get like 20 minutes to yourself and you get to listen to content that feeds your curiosity and like makes you think differently or inspires you to, to do something, gives you clarity or whatever it is. Those moments throughout the day are such a personal experience with your earbuds. I wanted that to be comfortable as it should be. Um, so that's really where sort of the passion behind it comes from. And so we are going wholeheartedly after those knowledge seekers, because those are the people who are wearing earbuds for the longest period of time. That makes a ton of sense. Yeah. Um, I, and I, I wrote down, um, obviously, it, it's interesting that the original sort of headphones or earbuds were just were only designed for 20 minutes. I'm, I'm surprised yeah. by that. Was that just original market research? Like, or they just sort of assume people aren't going to want to wear these all day? Yeah, well, it was, I mean, the iPod was such groundbreaking technology, but all they could get was 20 minutes of music on, on an iPad at first, uh, iPod at first. Okay. Um, And so, and so all the, and prior to 2015, earbuds came free with your devices, right? Mm -hmm. So whatever device you were using, it came free with that. So it was also meant for not to be like super sophisticated. It didn't need to be at the time. Um, but it, the market is growing like crazy and where they're predicting it to the adoptions to be much like that of like the cell phone um, growth, seeing cell phone growth. Um, and it's become a, pretty important part of people's lives today where people leave home without their don't leave home without their wallet their cell phone and now their earbuds mm -hmm. yeah i can i can tell you uh anecdotally that yesterday i brought and i bring mine with me everywhere and i had a moment of legitimate panic when i thought that i had left them in one location which is very far away from my home and i was equally upset and then angry at myself thankfully i found them but i can speak to that yes and i'm sure everybody who's listening also uh, <laughs> does consider it to be you know essential stuff to bring with you so i yeah. i get it the market has has to what you've been talking about growing like crazy and so i'm sure that that is bringing in um, lots of new companies who are interested in that. Um, your premise is that yours are way more comfortable and the more you wear them, it becomes more and more comfortable? Yes, because they work with your body temperature. So they never have a hard state. So there's some, because this is a big, this is sort of the golden ticket in the space. Like I was talking to the ex-head of, Philips headphone and earbuds yesterday. And he said, he was like, listen, Philips, we spent millions and millions and millions of dollars and over a decade trying to solve this fit issue because everyone knows it's the biggest issue in the space and we could never do it. And he's like, I, I'm so blown away that this tiny little company out of Colorado is solved this issue that we could, that, that we had the smartest of the people in the world trying to solve for. Um, and I think that any category is up for grabs. I think that that is most disruption has come from someone from the outside of that industry identifying a major need. So you think about like Airbnb or Uber. I mean, that is just like just, some, you know, crazy concepts to have you get into someone else's car and call them on an app where you don't even talk to them, right? Um, but 
they saw that need or all that available space for Airbnb, I mean, essentially has redesigned the hospitality industry. Um, and those things came, those people came from outside the industries and saw an incredibly important need and consumer um, and a way to solve consumers' issues. And so that's essentially what we're after in this space as well. Yeah, that makes sense. So the biggest players in this space currently, I imagine it's it's AirPods. I imagine Beats are, which is which is what I currently use, probably a large player. Who am I leaving out? And how do you think about your position there? How will you get more? Where 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 do you fit? That is a great question. And I think it's one of the most important questions when you're talking about building a business, right? So in our industry right now, today, is it $32 billion industry? Hmm. Um, Apple is the biggest, uh, has the biggest share, which includes Beats, Apple AirPods Beats. Um, and that is, they only own 34% of the market, hmm. which is huge because in the next biggest, I think is like 11% um, biggest brand in the market. And that is Samsung. So not, no two brands own more than 50, own more than 50% or even own 50% of the market, right? So when you're going into a marketplace, you want to make sure, well, first, is there a path to growth? Because it's it's noisy. There's no doubt about it. Um, but is there a room for innovation? And so essentially there's like 66% of the space is up for innovation. However, if we had 1% of that market, we'd be a billion dollar company. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the market is projected to grow from what it is today to $152 billion in the next few years. And that's just earbuds, not cans or headphones. Um, and that's because the industry experts are projecting that the earbud industry will become the most dominant platform for communication and computing device. So over the glasses, over the watch, mostly because of adoption, but also because of the power of the proximity to your voice. So voice assistance is how, you know, order this, book this, call so-and-so, take this note, you know, that kind of stuff, you email, you know, you can do everything through your voice assistance. Um, and so that is pretty exciting space. That can't be realized unless we have a comfortable earbud that can be worn for, worn for long periods of time. The other thing we're doing is building in, and we built most of it, but a um, it's essentially a AI platform on the earbud that's a productivity tool. So that um, it's an on the go productivity tool. So you're bike you're on you know bike riding, listening to a podcast, and you hear a cool quote or an interesting fact. We'll record the last twenty seconds the next 20 seconds, translate it to text and add the metadata. So who the podcaster is, author, what the platform is, Spotify, Audible. Um, and then we will, and then you can voice tag it. So this is my paper on Genghis Khan or whatever. <laughs> I love history. Um, and, and then we'll save it to your Butterflies account. So you can either use that to, to share it with your Evernote account or whatever productivity tool you use, or you can use it it within the butterflies environment. And then this is, we're again, that for heavy earbud users who, you know, when we did the research, they love music, but they're not necessarily using their earbuds for music. They're using their in-home speakers and their, and their car stereos for music. The heavy usage for earbuds is audiobooks, podcasts, streaming video, um, phone calls. And that um, we've, are creating essentially a new category within the space around this knowledge seeker, a spoken word vertical. Um, and that's really resonating with, with people. And so um, it's been pretty easy for us to sort of cut through that clutter and grow. Super exciting. Excellent pun that you referred to the industry as noisy. So kudos to you <laughs> on that one. I didn't even mean to thank you yeah, yeah yeah certainly oh i should be quicker about that stuff yeah you definitely <laughs> lots of lots of uh lots of room for, for 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 that kind of thing super cool on the a in the on the ai productivity tool uh, and i'm sure that y'all are working on all kinds of cool innovations like that on top of it and that all makes sense um 
if you don't mind, you can just tell me no. What, how, how are you working aside from having conversations on podcasts? How else are you thinking that, 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 what are you thinking the best way for you to market and start getting some of that market share is? So again, we're going after this vertical that no one else is going after. So everyone in the, and, and that's really important when you're entering a market that's noisy and has a lot of like chatter in it. Again, again, I keep using puns for my, um, but that you need to have some, a rub, right? So you need to stand for something and be against something. And that it, you can't be everything to everyone. Um, even though 87% of this market is affected by comfort and fit, we are only going after a slice of it in order to break into the industry. And that is heavily focused on this knowledge seeker um, and spoken word vertical. So things like going on podcasts and saying, hey, you know that achy feeling you have right now? We've solved that for you. Um, you don't have to put up with that anymore. Um, and, and so addressing it in that way. And then also, just like we were talking about earlier, that moment you have that it's like a, that little, those few minutes you get on your commute or whatever it is to listen to content. And even if it's a podcast that makes you laugh out loud or when you're cooking, you know, and you get to listen to like true crime or whatever it is that those moments are so nice to have where you just get to sort of indulge in your curiosity. And so we built our whole brand around it. And that's why we named it actually Butterflies because, well, besides the pun, because it's B-U-D, like your bud, not B-U-T-T. -T, so one D, no T's. Um, but we did it because of the butterfly effect. So much like the, evol much like the flap of uh, butterflies' wings can affect the weather patterns on the other side of the world, so too can knowledge and a growth mindset and all and everything you can get from the voices of other people like you, right? Like there's, so, it's so important to, to continue to grow your mind and, and, and hear for how other people present things and do things and advice that they have. And it's one of the reasons I love your podcast, because you are, you've just perfectly captured that. Um, and so that is what our whole brand essence is about. And so like, for instance, we, on a weekly basis, we, um, send out our favorite recommendations on audiobooks and podcasts only because we were doing it already in our weekly meetings that has now just on its own that service that we provide has grown is way bigger than our earbud side of things and people love that recommendation so it's you know it's just three recommendations a week we say you know we put a little time a lot of time into why we liked him and why we think you know we're into it. And so people get a different understanding rather than just like a summary, like here's what it's about from the production company. Um, and that is doing really well that to the point where we have like 19% of our users are now giving us recommendations back. Nice. So it's sort of like created this like marketplace or ecosystem where people are engaging in it so much. And, and as a result, we have people writing us like, I came in because I needed a comfortable earbud and you guys solved that for me, but now I'm with you guys for life because of your brand, um, which is just the coolest experience in the world. When you, you know, like I said, it took us four years to, to invent and develop this product. Um, and then when you get it onto the market and people love it, oh my goodness, there's nothing better. Yeah. Besides like your kids hugs. Right. <laughs> but professionally, there's nothing better. I love it. It makes a ton of sense. And, you know, kudos to y'all for, for, for branching out and doing that and working to create community and just laying the groundwork and, and, and allowing space for it to happen. And it oh, sounds thanks. like it's grown organically and what a better way than that. So yeah, awesome. thank you. I appreciate it. That's well, really Shay, cool. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on. Where can people yeah. learn more about you? How can they learn more about butterflies? Where can they get a a set, a pair? Uh, a pair. Um, you can get a pair from butterflies.com. So no T's, one D, B-U-D-E-R-F-L-Y-S.com. If you want, if you're thinking about starting your own business and you just want to chat with someone, feel free to hit me up on LinkedIn at Shay Gerhart. Um, yeah. But awesome. if you want to try the earbuds, they're awesome. Perfect. 
<laughs> well, if you enjoyed this much as I did, so share your appreciation and share today's show with a friend that also appreciates good ideas, just like Shay and the folks at Butterflies do. Go to butterflies.com. It's B-U-D-E-R-F-L-Y-S.com. And check out this innovative and revolutionary new product. And then you can find Shay on LinkedIn. I'll link all of those in the notes of the show. Thanks again, Shay. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. And until next time, remember, do your part by doing your best.